What's up? This is Peña de la Tun here in Barbate. We are following the route of the tuna, the freshest fish in the world here in Peña de la Tun. It means club of the tuna in English. And they don't have room here for a month. And they allowed us to be here and show you what looks like the freshest tuna in the world. Peña de la Tun, Purple Living. Okay, let me show you guys because this is Andalusia. This this place is been taken by Arabic people for 700 years. Okay, uh, so this here, this decoration is typical. Whenever I see this, it's just so Andalus. This is art, Arabic art. This is a detail that I always looked when I lived here, and I wanted to show you to you. And this is like a club of tuna. Yes, for more than 30 years. And we are doing, remember, the route of the tuna here in Andalusia for the world, for you, extreme tuna route here, Andalusia, only in my channel. Jose Manuel, tienes cara de ser jefe. No, 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 no. He's a face of like, ¿el jefe o no? No, el jefe no soy, no, el jefe hoy no se encuentra aquí, la verdad. Okay, can you tell us a little bit, oh, mira, look at this. Mira, atún rojo salvaje. This is tuna, red tuna uh, wild of Almandraba. What is Almandraba? It's the company with which we work with the product of atún rojo. Is it something? But the Almandraba is not a system for catching the tuna? Yes. It's a company that is dedicated to a lo que es la pesca del atún rojo de Almadrao y la cual trabaja durante toda la época del año con el producto de atún rojo. ¿Y cómo es el sistema? ¿Tienes una idea de cómo es? Ellos sí, van a través de unos barcos, hacen un copo, que dentro de ese copo están unos tipos de... de bueno, están los atunes que cazan ellos mismos, cada cual un cierto tiempo sacan los atunes. ¿Cuán fresco es el atún de acá? ¿Cuán fresco es? Ayer estuvo nadando antes. La temporada del atún es de, de abril a junio, son de tres abril. meses. Ok, tuna, there is only three months of uh, uh, fresh tuna, is April until July, abril a julio. Sí. April until July is the is the, where they get the tuna. The tuna comes here to the Mediterranean to put eggs, and they chase it with this system of almandrava is called. So there is like a kind of like adoration here to tuna in this part of the world. And I'm gonna guys to show you. And this is the freshest that can get here in Peña de la Tun. More than 30 years they have been doing what they're doing, so they know what they're doing. And I cannot wait. I'm salivating already. A comer. All right, guys, this is like a little tapa on the house. This is lomo. This is lomo with caramelized onion. And here, everywhere, they give you these piquillos. Okay? Barbate, this is the place where we are. And they normally, they do it on the house. And this is what you eat, like, if you don't eat bread. So let's try this amazing tapa. Wow. 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 I don't know even tell you how to describe. You know the bread of the banh mi? First of all, the bread of the banh mi is like that crusty. Exactly what I'm saying, the bread of the banh mi. This is lomo, and this is caramelized onion, and every flavor has been thought for 100 years, I'm sure. This is just can be true. Wow. ¿Qué es esto exactamente? Atún ahumado. Atún ahumado. So this is tuna, smoked tuna, smoked tuna with caramelized onion. How is that? Like disgustingly beautiful, amazing. The kind of smoke that they did is like not too smoke, not too little. It's exactly where we can taste the flavor of their meat, but also the smoke on, on, the, on, on behind the flavor. I'm gonna sleep here tonight and I'm gonna eat everything they have. What about that? What a way of starting this tuna journey here with a tapita, tapa, of tuna smoked with caramelized onions, guys, and the bread of a banh mi. And the wine, not even tell you, and the wine is local. And the prices are the most beautiful thing. Here you have the prices, guys. This is what it costs, like around three dollars a tapa. See, three dollars a tapa. Pescado, so it's a, you know, pescado mami. So this is three dollars, three dollars, three dollars. The prices are so affordable. 
that's what I wanted to show you, Andalusia, because there is it's one of the places with most culture that I ever seen in my life. People are very attached to the culture. And one of their cultures, the culture, culture is tuna. And that's what I'm showing you. And I hope to do a good job. So please like, please no, do it. Like, subscribe right now because you're gonna vivir la vida. Ole! This is a dream come true right here. This is tuna. It has the shape of the tuna. So it's the tuna tartar with a, a, a orange zest, organic orange zest, and um, something else. Soja de naranja y queso trufado. Okay, it's truffle cheese. Queso trufado, right? Sí. Truffle cheese. Truffle cheese. Literally. And um, and then uh, orange. So let's try this. Truffle, orange, and tuna. Look at this, look at this. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. Oh my God. Tuna and truffle, guys, together in a bite. And the tuna, it doesn't, again, I'm gonna say it without this time. It doesn't smell or taste like fish. It's just so fresh. This is too good. Very subtle. See, they don't put much of ever anything. They just let the tuna shine. No me jodas. He's saying that this is pearls of wasabi. Beautiful meal. Beautiful meal. And I'm so hungry. Pearls so hungry. Show me, this has yuzu on it, by the way. He just said yuzu. Can you show them a yuzu, Etienne? Pearls of yuzu. We order, we just ordered something that is a, a specialty from Barbate. Uh, there is el salmorejo, which is the cousin of the gazpacho. It's a tomato-based soup, cold soup. And it's on top of it, that normally it goes with ham and, and some egg. But in this place in Barbate, in Andalucía, donde el tatuna is the theme of this place, they they put something called mojama on top, which is drying the atún and then make it like similar like the ham, but actually it's atún. Oh, look at this. Look at this, the, con the, the texture of it. It's just, man, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's try a little bit. Oh. Oh. Madre mia. And this is, look, this is the decoration here. This is the tuna mojama. This is tuna, salted tuna. And this is some balsamic. And let's try half. Let's try half. Let's sit here and enjoy. Oh my god. Oh my god, it tastes like ham. It tastes like ham, but tuna at the end. And this is a balsamic. This is a balsamic. Local balsamic. Oh my gosh. This is too good. I don't know how to explain it. Like gazpacho, I don't know if you ever tried gazpacho. It's a little bit more light texture. This is like a soup of uh, vegetables. It, there is pimiento, there is tomato, and it's all mixed up. Now, this is local pine nuts, balsamic tuna, dry tuna, and, and, and tomato based soup, cold soup. Mm. Excellent. This is their version of Otoro. Yes, Otoro es muy graso. Y esto es Otoro. Beautiful spread. Wow. Rock of the tuna. Um, I have tears of joy. Imaginary tears of joy. Es que, wow, it's just, it's, the tuna is too good in this region. It's, it's comparable to Japan level. I mean, it's just like... I thought we couldn't get anywhere else. Better tuna than Japan, yet here we are. Questioning myself, hmm, I guess life isn't over after Japan. <laughs> De the details are so minute. Here, in the white part, in the white part, yeah. Because I cannot show you guys, it's pearls of wasabi. It's like wasabi caviar that explodes in your mouth. Can you tell us what it's for you, what you like, if you like well, it or not? Well, let's see how it tastes, I'll tell you that. Subtle little splashes of taste, 
just barely to complement the tuna and just to let it shine. It's a work of art. That's all I can say. El toquecito está ahí. Let's try the tapa. Ooh. Wow. Oily and the onion on top. I can't wait. Mm. Mm -hmm. The smoked tuna. Such a beautiful touch. Mm. I love this place. It's so authentic. Straight from the sea. The best quality. Wow. Can you try the salmorejo for me, please? I am I, I am the biggest fan of gazpacho and we do gazpacho at home all the time. I've never tried salmorejo, but let's see how it is. Oh, it's like gazpacho. Oh, it's so good. Seriously good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is actually really good. Uh, it's so creamy, but cream of the tomato. I don't know how to explain it. And then there's that balsamic on top with the pine nuts. Just again, barely subtle touches enough to get let the tomato shine, and it's just beautiful work of art. It's amazing. It's so good. This is better than gazpacho. Oh, this is definitely better. Look at that. The fat coming out of it. This is this is what this is this is my jam. With some what wakame. <laughs> like you do. It's like butter. It's like butter. So this is tartar of the escargamento, guys. It's a little bit less fatty and it's in the middle, from the back to the ventresca, right? Ventresca being the otoro. So it's in the middle. Pearls of Yuzu, guys. Pearls of Yuzu. Do you understand? I'm in Barbate and I'm eating pearls of Yuzu. Muchas gracias. Pearls of Yuzu, guys. This is unbelievable. Here in direct, just in my channel. Did you hear that? So like and subscribe because you're not gonna get this anywhere else. This is the route of Tuna here in Barbate, in the middle of nowhere. Yes, Andalusia. Look at it. Oh. I'm the number one tartar fan. Yes, it's true, it's true. Do you see that? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. It's or no? different to anything else. This is like meat. It really tastes like meat, but I'm gonna put a little bit of yuzu pearls. Pearls of yuzu. Yuzu is a fruit that only grows in Japan, in the beautiful island of Japan. Oh my god, it has like gross so mm. It has like gross, it's like a Maybe I'm guessing this. It's like an egg and it has like gross cell. You can taste the gross cell. But the used to get a kick like obviously the star is the tuna. Let's try the sashimi. Let's go to the sashimi. And I like chutoro. So I believe chutoro is this. Let's put a little bit of pearls of yuzu into this. And let's put a little bit of the uh, wakame. Paentro. Oh my god. This is, this is Japan level, guys. Oh, Toro. Wow. 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 And the wakame is so well done. So well done. Unbelievable. But yeah, guys, the tartar. And did you see the decoration in this simple place in the middle of Barbate? The decoration. I just kind of appreciate those little things, you know? I don't know. One of my favorite, the ventresca, the, the, the gazpacho, tío. Mira, 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 mira. Delicious, guys. Oh, you didn't try. Oh, oh, oh listen, listen, Etienne, Etienne, Etienne has to try the smoke mojava. I mean, how is it? Really good. All this for only 60 euros with wine included, drinks included. 
Wow, it's unbelievable. How would you rate this place, Etienne? 10 out of 10. Messi! Messi, I'm Argentinian. Messi! This is a little Messi. Everybody is such a sweetheart, guys. I can't even describe you how nice people are in Andalusia. I don't know how it is anything else in the world. Like just Andalusia, people, they're gonna just, even if you don't speak the language, they're gonna make you feel at home. That's my thing. Here we go, guys. This is Peña del Atún en Barbate. Here I am, abajo de un naranjo. ¿Qué es esto? What is that? This is the orange probably that they use for the tuna and it's just unbelievable. If you want to stop by here, it's going to have to be a little bit of a drive. But it's Peña del Atún Barbate. It's a club of tuna fishing just for you in my channel. Okay guys, acá estamos. Here we are in Andalucía under a orange tree, un naranjo. And drinking the so good the water with the glass bottle. I love it. What do you think, Etienne? What are your thoughts? Blown away. Number one food destination aside from Japan. <laughs> Guaranteed. I mean, it's top level, top boss, everything. I remind you guys, we are doing the tuna route. We are following the tuna route yes. here in Andalusia. And here we are in Barbate, an Andaluz, very little village where their main hobby is to get that tuna to our bellies. So here is Purple Living for you with love. Keep on watching. Please subscribe. Si quieres vivir la vida. Ole.